simple pendulum, amplitude and time period. The to and fro motion of a swing in the park or that of a pirate ship is called an oscillatory motion. A simple pendulum is a similar object. It consists of a small metallic sphere called pendulum bob suspended by a light inextensible thread from a rigid support. When displaced to one side, it starts swinging back and forth. The point O is called the mean position of the pendulum. The motion of the pendulum from the mean position O to an extreme point A, then to the other extreme point B and back to O constitutes an oscillation. Time taken for one oscillation is called time period of the pendulum. Do you think all pendulums have same time period? Will the time taken for an oscillation change if we increase the amplitude or the distance from the mean position O? Let's experiment and find it out. Aim to study the effect of amplitude on the time period of a simple pendulum. Materials required Heavy iron stand A split cork An inextensible thread of about 1.5 meter length a metallic spherical bob of known radius, a stopwatch, a large size protractor, a meter scale, a sheet of paper and pen. Procedure Take a stopwatch. Find its least count. The least count or the minimum reading that can be taken from this stopwatch is 0.01 second. Tie one end of a light inextensible thread of nearly 1.5 meters in length to a metallic pendulum bob of known radius. Radius of our bob is 1.5 centimeters. Find out the length of the thread and the hook together required to make the effective length of the pendulum. L is equal to L plus H plus R an integer value, say 100 cm. Since radius of our bob is 1.5 cm, L plus H should be 98.5 cm. Measure this distance from the bob and mark it on the thread. Pass the free end of the thread through a split cork such that the 100 cm marking is just at the bottom of the cork. Clamp the cork firmly to a heavy iron stand placed on a horizontal table. Make sure that the pendulum bob can move freely. Fix a large size protractor just below the split cork. Ensure that the 0 degree to 180 degree line of the protractor is horizontal and the pendulum hanging vertically in its rest position coincides with the 90 degree line of the protractor. Draw two perpendicular lines on a sheet of paper or the surface. Mark it AB and MN. Let them intersect at the point O. Divide line AB through equal divisions of 4 cm each on both sides of the point O. Mark the points to the left from O as A1 to A5 and those on the right as B1 to B5. Gently hold the pendulum bob just above the point O. Displace the bob to the first division point OA1 on line AB, keeping the thread stretched. Check the angular displacement of the bob on the protractor attached at the top of the pendulum. Release the bob so that it begins to oscillate about its mean position O with amplitude OA1. Make sure the bob moves along the straight line a, B. Observe and record the time taken for 10 oscillations using a stopwatch. The counting of oscillations should begin when the bob of the pendulum passes its mean position while it is oscillating. Calculate the time period.
Bring the pendulum at rest in its mean position. Displace the pendulum bob to point A2. Note down the amplitude and angular displacement of the pendulum. Record the time taken for 10 oscillations. Repeat this by displacing the bob to A3, A4 and A5. Record the observations. Plot a graph between the amplitude of the pendulum A and the time period T. Choose appropriate scales. Result The time period is found to be independent of amplitude for smaller amplitude with angular displacements less than 10 degree. For larger amplitudes or large angular displacements, the time period of the pendulum changes with amplitude. Precautions The bob of the pendulum must move along the straight line AB. It should not follow an elliptical path, nor should it spin or jump up and down. Hence, release the bob gently and without a push. Make sure the pendulum moves freely without touching the edge of the table or surface below. Practically, the amplitude may decrease in each swing of the pendulum with time. Thus, the pendulum will not keep on oscillating for a long time. Noting time taken for about 10 oscillations ensures that the amplitude of oscillation does not become too small.